Hey y'all, Monk Joseph here with the Broken Buddha. Um, I just want to talk really quick about the Enlightenment Buddhism playlist. A lot of people don't really know a lot about this stuff, so I'm just going to break it down a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy with a, a, a light warning. Um, meditation, yoga, and enlightenment are connected, but are not the same. You know, you do yoga, meditation to be healthier, uh, have better functionality out of your human body, and all kinds of other things that are kind of in between yoga and enlightenment. When you get to enlightenment, you're talking about unraveling the human mind by eliminating all indoctrination to find as much original, authentic information as you can, okay? Now, here's the light warning. I personally don't think anybody who thinks their life is perfect should be doing Buddhism because when you study Buddhism... You're going to realize things that you didn't realize. Uh, you are going to reverse indoctrinations. And me personally, you are inv involving yourself with other spirits. Now, not that you're not involving yourself all the time with other spirits, but these are ones that are going to guide you in a way that you may not agree with. So my simple advice and warning to people is if you think your life's perfect, then you probably don't need Buddhism. Why would you need to wake up if your life is perfect? It sounds like you're going to realize you're not perfect and blame me or somebody else um, and probably take out on people your whole life. And I don't want that, obviously, as someone who does study these things. Anybody who knows me personally knows that I do have enough mud in my life for the lotus to bloom. I think uh, most people do. They may not realize it. Um, but no, when I found Buddhism and enlightenment, I mean, I was pretty much running for my life, uh, somewhat physically, somewhat uh, psychologically and physiologically. So, I mean, you know, I, I had my, my things when I fell into the net of enlightenment or Buddhism, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like you shouldn't, uh, I, I realize a lot of people like to pretend to slum it. Everyone likes to hang out with somebody who slums it or has seen hard times because they think that they are their equal. And a lot of people like to pretend they come from like a slum in a background until they get to know me and they're like, wow, like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not like that. And I'm like, yeah, you're not. <laughs> so it's, it is what it is. Um, you know, a lot of adults can't handle being told they've never experienced real pain or real fear. Um, every adult thinks they are the hardest, toughest, smartest thing on this planet until, you know, they get older and uh, things start breaking down again and they realize they're not. Uh, it's one of my benefits from studying Buddhism is I know that I, I can't know anything until I'm fully enlightened. Um, and because I did have the experiences that some of you are familiar with in realization is how I know that. That is the only thing I know is that I don't know anything. So, you know, unless you're trying to, unless you need a way out of this existence and to never see anything like it again, you know, you should be treading lightly in the enlightenment Buddhism. There's nothing wrong with being informed and educating yourself on another uh, modality of human understanding or religion, if you will. Um, but yeah, I mean, you should not do any of these things wholeheartedly. You shouldn't engage yourself into any religion, uh, wholeheartedly without first considering everything that is that religion. And, um, yeah, it's more of the, the enlightenment Buddhism is more about guidance because just like I do with the Kung Fu, enlightenment and Buddhism is so overwhelmed right now with nepotism and capitalism that to find even a drop of purity is very, very, very difficult. So that's really what the Buddhism enlightenment section is about is me sharing the drops of purity that I found while studying these things. Um, so there you have it, you know, feel free to browse through anything or check out anything you want, but if you're going to dive wholeheartedly, if you want to see if you're cut out for Buddhism, do the enlightenment study path. If you survive all those books, hit me up and let me, and let me know. I can almost guarantee that no one is ever going to finish that entire book series. Because if you do, you'd have the experiences and we'd be talking about some real stuff that I don't talk about, right? So there, there there's your challenge. You know, if you want a Buddhism enlightenment challenge to see if you're cut out for it, go through that study path, read all those books. I didn't do any reading before I started studying for enlightenment. And then I started reading like 100 pages, uh, you know, a week, uh, if not more, because it's but when the hunger is there, it's there. So, yeah, if you think you're built like that, you think you're Buddhism tough, you think you're enlightenment tough, do the study path. Read the books. Let me know when you're the first one to complete it. And, uh, heck, I'll make a video for you because I don't think it's ever going to happen. I've seen people try to read some of these books, and the universe just takes the books right away from the people. They, they, uh, they'll leave my family members. There's just I've never seen anybody get these books and complete them, ever. So check it out. Don't worry about su supplemental reading. It will help your research. 
Um, you'll learn a lot about yourself and humanity. I'll guarantee you that, you know, just read it all as informational. You're reading stuff from people who put a lot of time into their uh, awakened state or Buddhism, you know, but I will tell you this one thing I'm going to close with here on the Buddhism talk. If you think that you're a Buddhist because you pray to and ask Lord Buddha for things, you're not point blank period. I'm telling you to your face. You're not a Buddhist because Lord Buddha Gautama is sitting there in meditation would want you to sit down and meditate and have a meditation staring contest with a statue because that's what he did and that's how he attained and wants you to attain. Uh, you sitting there asking for things, why would somebody who got to the grind hardcore and solved one of humanity's greatest problems give you things? You know what I mean? Just it's not going to help you. You know, I hope you at least understand that much about what you're studying that for him to make your life easier would not help you. That's not truth. That that would be covering up the truth, which is uh, Dharma. For those of you who study Buddhism and don't know what Dharma is or truth. So there you have it. You know, tread lightly. Um, start with the study path. If you think you're built like that, the rest, if you complete that enlightenment study path, you're going to be on a path that I am only qualified to advise on. I can't tell you what to do. Once you're on that path, you're on that path. And if you're locked in, like mentally, like I am, you're not getting off of it and you're going to have a lot of experiences that no one's going to be able to help you with. So on the other side of tread lightly, if you ever need help, this is why I'm always like, guys, hit me up. If you need me comment on here, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out because there's going to be times if anybody goes to the entire enlightenment study path, I guarantee I'm going to be getting some uh, calls and on Facebook or messages on here. Like, Hey, what's this? What's that? Is this supposed to happen? Is that supposed to happen? And it's kind of scary if you do it all without somebody to advise you. I had, some people interject both in real time waking state and in the dream state. I had some people interject and help me out to be able to, uh, to process through some of the things I experienced. And I have been guided both in the dream bardo and out here. You have to really pay attention. That is the real key to Buddhism is if you could sum up, what is Buddhism mean? Do it in two words, pay attention very, very closely to everything. That's it. It's that simple. But meditate fiercely on those things. So, yeah, you can sum up Buddhism in two words. Pay attention. That's it. That's all Buddhism is. Oh, and truth. You know, preaching the Dharma or truth. Um, but so, yeah, so it's three things. Three words. Two things. All right? So there you have it. You know, uh, enjoy it. I put a lot of hard work and all that research for all of these uh, playlists. But I put a lot. There was a lot of time. Uh, blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, I went into that one. So check it out. And, uh, again, thanks for stopping by. Peace and blessings.